What is going on guys? Today I'm going to be bringing you my very first tutorial with GameMaker Studio. And I've had a lot of requests lately to make a tutorial on GameMaker Studio but I didn't know exactly about what I was going to do it. So now that I figured it out I asked someone in the comments below <coughs> about, I'm sorry my throat is a little dead, I apologize, about what should I make a tutorial. And eventually it turned out to be some kind of first person shooter. Well, I want to do this in steps. First off, I want to show you guys how to make a basic map. Then I want to make something like controls. And nextly, I want to make something like <coughs> the guns and the shooting. And then I want to make AI and maybe even driving cars, whatever. Whatever you guys want. I'm making these tutorials for you, not for myself. So basically, I started off making these sprites. You can easily draw them. This is a sprite for the player, and this is simply a circle. As you can see, you can draw it like this, poof, but then a little bit better. If you so desire, you can make a triangle. A square doesn't really matter. And make sure you do center it, because that is kind of important. So I also have made some other sprites for the environment, like a bulb that I drew because I was bored, and a sprite for a barrel. This is just a mask, it's not supposed to resemble a, an, an actual barrel because it doesn't really look like it at all. <coughs> Next thing, a gun that I tried to draw. I, I actually forgot how, what it looked like. Oh, that's horrible. It's like one of those uh, yeah, metal slug guns. And of course, some sprites for the floors. Well, there is no sound as you can see right now. That's because I want to keep it at the the actual map right now. The, the sounds will come later on. I make my own music. Um, I also do my own sounds, so I will have to record those and then simply <laughs> render them into Game Maker. Well, there are some textures right here. I have a test of a floor that I. It's actually basically a picture of a road taken from. Uh, I don't know what it was actually taken from. It was. Uh, yeah, it's just a picture of a road. And I started uh, editing it a little bit with paint.net. And now, you, as you can see, there's a little bit of transparent erased bits in the texture. That's because there is going to be an effect in the game, and you will see that later on. This is the texture of the gun that I will be using in the future, but not right now. I actually have it as an object, but as a separate object, actually. But I'm not using it yet. A texture of a barrel, I'm not going to show you the entire list of it. There's a lot of others, and this is a shader, as I like to call it, but it's not ac an actual shader, it's just a texture of a shadow, a circle sh shadow, <laughs> that's all. And I have two textures for s the sun, this is number one and this is number two, and I'll show you on later, I'll show you what these textures are all about later on. Now, I'm not really good at giving tutorials, by the way, this is my very first tutorial in my entire life, I'm 17 years old right now. And I've never made a tutorial before. <laughs> right, as you can see, I have this script <coughs> in which I like to load the models, and I'm going to edit a little bit. Load a gun model, for example. You can just simply comment on this. And this is for PC optimization, whatever you'd like to say. And as you can see, I have some models, but not very, not, not a lot of them. These next two scripts are very important if you want to have uh, texture filtering in your game. The first one is called GMFT init. And this uh, is a DLL, the GMT, GMTF DLL that I got from Mishmash. You should really check him out. He, he made this DLL and it actually allows you to do mip mapping in Game Maker Studio, which was unthinkable um, last year, until last year. And the next thing is D4D enabled texture filtering, in which we actually call the DLL, so we can do D4D enabled texture filtering. Next one is controls, very, ba very basic controls, just walking forward and walking backwards. That's all there is right now. And this is a script of a small animation that I made. It doesn't make any sense. It, it's, it looks like this, but it works, and that's uh, what's important to me. <coughs> Sorry, I'm kind of sick as well. I can't believe it. Well, actually, here are... Here we go, finally, the nice bit um, of the, yeah, I know, what am I saying, I'm sorry, I really apologize, I'm not, I'm not thinking straight, excuse me. 
So alright, let's try that again. These are your objects that you are going to use. The first one is the object of the player and it's going to create a masker and I will show you later on what that is. I just called it object masker because I'm Dutch. I'm a Dutch game creator and a masker actually means something in Dutch. <laughs> it sounds pretty weird in English actually. So make sure that the GMFT in it is is uh, above the DVD start because for some reason it doesn't work when it's under uh, the DVD start. Well, these are some very basic 3D things like the DVD set hidden, it's the true, the lighting, the true, and the shading, the true. And this one is rather interesting. It actually allows you to, yeah, to cut off transparent edges of um, of some PNG type textures, textures, and that allows you to. Um, get rid of uh, what was it called it, it had a name alpha fighting I guess I don't know what it exactly was called but we'll f I will find out later I'll just google it next thing to set culling so we don't have to draw two faces on on each uh, a face on each side this is actually also for PC optimization and next thing draws the color to see white so we can actually add textures without them turning black and here you go d label texture filtering it's that's a that that is this script right here I forgot that I could just simply do this, but whatever. It's the middle mouse button and set it to true. <coughs> and these two textures not really important. And now we create the sun. But I'll go to the sun later because that's really interesting. Next thing is a step event in which we simply... <coughs> I'm sorry, I really apologize. In which we initialize the direction of the player and its pitch. Pitch is the... Uh, the vertical mouse movement movement so you can look up and down and direction I bet you know what that means and when we <coughs> man when we collide with parent solid this code actually allows you to slide <coughs> on walls <laughs> you, you'll see what I mean I don't know I don't really know how to explain it my English is not perfect so I'm sorry I bet there are some really nice words for it but I can't seem to find them in my tiny brain and in the draw event, there's this huge amount of things. Well, not huge. It's actually just simply 28 lines of text. This is the basic projection code. You, there's no need for you to copy all this, by the way, if you want to use this in your own game. Because I'm going to have a uh, usable GMX file in the description below. And this one here is for the skybox that you will see later on. It's actually a big ass cylinder and a big ass ellipsoid and you'll see what that looks like <coughs> we are going to load in the controls simply at this and you will get the controls in your game well that's actually the player object if you want to take a look at these environment things then go ahead this is the lighting simple lighting coming from all directions you should really stunt with this you just gotta play with these uh, values right here it doesn't really matter what they become um, 16 works fine for me, but if you want to have something else, that's all right. But make sure you don't do it uh, uh, too excessively because it will turn black. It will, everything will turn black because there won't be any white lighting coming from your game. Now the mayhem actually contains object gun. That's all. <coughs> I'll show you what that is in the next episode because it's not really of our main priority right now. Now the floors here. And this for PC optimization as well, a big as X and a small X. And I will show you why that, why I did that. And it's going to load in the texture and the model right here. As you can see, I'm using these uh, capital X and Y again. That's because if I would do it this way, it would have to keep looking at what value that is. But well, now we already did that, so it's not necessary anymore. And I'm doing it with the mud as well. And um, with uh, actually ba basically every static object has this PC optimization code. Now this is the barrel. Uh, it can choose between a model for a static barrel, which is two barrels on top of each other, and a normal barrel. And I'll show you why this why I did this. The Z is random 2.5. Well, that is because you will get a lot of Z fighting. So I did this. It's really stupid, but it works. <laughs> it works actually. Uh, I hit my mic. I'm sorry. Depth is minus 32 minus Z, and when you do that, um, <coughs> when the shadow is higher than the shadow of an object that has a lower depth value, it won't you won't get any Z fighting. 
which is good of course otherwise you'll get this clipping and you're gonna hate that I, I, I promise you're gonna hate that and a tree model I'm not gonna go through all these a house model a sidewalk whatever I, I have it all and a pole of course now we go to the interesting part the sun <coughs> the sun is really interesting and flare number one is background get texture text sun and text flare text flare was this big one text sun was this subtle one so when you go to the draw event you'll see this very complicated part where it's not really complicated if you know what it's all about <coughs> and it basically draws it alpha to image alpha and bm add diffuse it hidden to false so you <coughs> you'll see what i mean i promise i'm sorry if it's a little the screen is a little bit orange i do that because i have a, a blue light filter on because my eyes get tired really easily if it's not on so i might just fall asleep when it's turned off while recording so i'll have a recording of about an hour long when i wake up and the depth as you can see is minus 256 otherwise this won't work now we go to object masker which means mask in dutch basically <laughs> image x scale <coughs> is 1200 because it's basically a sprite with width 2 and height 1 <coughs> i'm sorry about my throat i'm sorry you guys i'm sorry <coughs> this next thing is that it follows the player's x value and y value well if it's place meeting parent solid which is this object it doesn't do much but it has two children which is the house object house and object pole when it hits either of those the image alpha of the sun goes down and I'll show you what that means and if it doesn't touch it the image alpha goes up I accidentally clicked that. Why? Right, thank you. That's basically it. That's all there is to see. And as you can see, there is the room editor right here, and I, you can stun around with this a little bit when you get this uh, <coughs> GMX file. You can put trees here if you want to. You can put trees there if you want to. You can basically do anything you want <laughs> once you have it. You can even place trees right there if you want to, but I'm not going to do that because that would mess up my game. And I'm going to show you what it's like, and I want to say beforehand, this is done in full screen because my computer hates full screen for some reason. I don't know what it is, but when I record in full screen, it dies. So here we go. Run this game. <coughs> <coughs> there, there we go. Look, this is what the game looks like right now. It's very basic. The map is not finished yet, but it does have something in it. There's all the models are actually custom made with model creator, thanks to Metro Betra, better also known as Martin Baird right now. Well, thank you very much for that program, by the way. It's, it's awesome. Well, as you can see, this is why I actually erase some bits of it. So you get this little rain effect. <coughs> well, it doesn't work perfectly, but it does work. <coughs> and this is what you get when you add the sun flare to it. And as you can see, here's the little wind animation. I'm sorry if the, the screen is a little bit, um, yeah, choppy, but I don't experience that with my computer right now. While I'm recording, I don't experience anything. It just runs at a smooth 60 frames per second. But when I stop recording, it probably will uh, be an asshole for, to me. And as you can see, that is what I meant by Optic Masker. It's really important when you have a sun flare like this. It will make the sun disappear behind objects. It's really inefficient, but it's the way that I know works. <laughs> From what I know, it, 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 it's the best way to do it. I don't know why, but I think that. You can't walk sideways yet because that is a really complicated code to me because I want everything to be as smooth as possible but I cannot do that always so I will add that in the controls video later as you can see there's a little bit of ambient occlusion which is also faked I will show you that in a new tutorial and as you can see there are flags here and some of the flags contain this logo shout out to my friend Twinchy Tech you're awesome man Thank you for supporting me.
that's why I put you in this tutorial as well <laughs> as you can see the map is uh, kind of boring right now but it is there it took me a long time to make all this actually and <clears throat> I never played Assassin's Creed Unity but I think it looks somewhat like this but of course Assassin's Creed Unity has uh, uh, much worse graphics this game has better graphics than Assassin's Creed Unity well this is actually all I wanted to show you in this tutorial it's a really short tutorial of course but I just wanted to show you guys what I made so far and <clears throat> I hope it helps you if it doesn't help you then please leave some feedback to me on how I can improve my tutorials because I'm not really good at giving those well that was actually it this, was, uh, this has been Gaming Engineer. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if this helped you. Leave a dislike if it didn't help you. No, just kidding. Just like it anyway. Well, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. And thank you very much for watching.